What's up, everybody? So today we're going nuclear on the TRZ channel, the all-new DeWalt Atomic Compact Series. Today we're going to beat the crap out of the all-new Atomic Impact Gun and the Atomic Drill Driver. We're going to use paddle bits, we're going to do screws, we're going to do lags. We're going through metal and we're going to talk about the specs. Woo! I did say these were atomic, right? So the all-new DeWalt Atomic Compact Series, 21% more torque, 13% more power. That's what they're claiming on these new tools here. Now you can buy these in the kit. I will put a link in the description below. But we're taking a look at the drill and we're taking a look at the impact. We're going to compare these a little bit between the older models. We want to see the size comparison and the weight comparison. Then we're just going to go full bore and start blasting everything that we can find. But what do you get in the kit? Well, you're going to get the drill driver and you're going to get the impact as well as the charger and 1.3 batteries. Two of them. And yeah, they're 20 volt. The model number for the drill, DCD708. The model for the impact, DCF809. Now you're only looking at 2.4 pounds with the bare tool for the drill. As far as it goes with the actual impact gun, 2.1 pounds bare tool. So they are really light. They're supposed to be more powerful. Again, we'll put that to the test. But let's compare the drill size too. Now you can see the length on this here is a little bit shorter. Not by much though. As far as it goes with the height, they're basically the same height. Would have liked to have seen that brought down a little bit more when it comes to the compact size. Definitely not the smallest compact that I've ever seen. But as far as it goes with the weight, not bad at all. And here's a different view next to the 796 just to give you a comparison of the size and what you're probably used to. And again, only 6.3 inches long. Compare that to a larger model where that's running over 8 inches in length and 3.6 pounds. Now even though you're looking at more RPM for the larger model at 2000 max, you're still looking at an impressive 1650 RPM on the Atomic, which is still 50 under the Makita compact drill, but $20 cheaper than it too. Now let's do a little quick side by side with the 887 and the new Atomic DeWalt compact impact gun. You can see that, well, it's just a little bit shorter when it comes to the length, but the height, it's actually a little bit taller. Where the 887 has 3,250 RPM, the Atomic has 2,800 RPM. But the Atomic is a half pound lighter than the 887 is. Now with that in mind, the 887 comes with a few more perks where the new Atomic is basically a one speed and that's it. The Atomic also uses a heavier duty plastic for the chuck and the clutch system and it does not have the impact driver mode. It does have the two settings, the low and the high. I will tell you that the plastic on this is a little bit heavier grade, so I'm happy to see that. And there's no play when it comes to that clutch. Now you do have the single LED down on the bottom of the drill, which is nice. And you do have the three LEDs up on the head when it comes to the impact gun. So the first impression, other than the use so far, you know, it's basic. It's not much smaller than the counterparts, but you can definitely tell the weight difference. Even a half pound makes a huge difference when you're working above head. They are both brushless and they feel great in the hands. They're balanced really nice. I really like that over mold right here. It just feels good. And again, you can definitely tell a small difference when it comes to the weight. Is it huge? No, but it's enough that it will help you if you're working with them all day long. Now we're gonna start using these things. We're gonna use and abuse. There was one thing on the impact that I already mentioned was it was basically a one speed. It was a one trick pony, but I think you're gonna see later in the video when we're actually using these tools, it's not gonna be that big of a deal just because of the variable speed trigger and how well it actually works. So let's do that now. I just want to see what type of power these things have. I want to know if they're going to overheat. I want to know if they're going to be able to stand up to the heavier job, the heavier applications that you would use a drill or impact gun for. And yet we're even going to impact half inch 
lag screws down through a treated 4x4 four four with no pilot holes. All right, let's start out with your basic drill. We're just going to put in some screws, even though we're going to do that with the impact. What I really liked about this is when you were actually trying to countersink these a little bit, they actually have a little bit of an extra spin to it, and it works out really nice when you are actually trying to put these in. So you're probably thinking, big whoop, it's a screw, right? Well, you know, it's a drill, so you, you want it to do things that you would do with the drill, right? So I really thought that it was controlled. I liked it, the variable speed trigger, real nice on that. And it is super quick. Let's put it on mode one. And you can see that I was using that variable speed. It does adjust very quickly, very smoothly. I was really impressed with the variable speed on these. All right, so let's take these out. We'll move it along. And by the way, I am using a 4AH battery in both of these. Even though they do come with the 1.3s, everybody usually uses the 4.0 or the 5.0 batteries. Really nobody's using the 1.3s unless you're just starting out. They're going to do the same. They're not going to be as powerful and they're going to not run as long. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. All right, now let's move this along to a one inch paddle bit. This is where a lot of the drills seem to have issues. So we're gonna see what it does through pine and then we'll try it with the treated four by four if it works out here. And no issue. That went through super easy, so let's do a couple more. And a whole bunch more. Super easy, super impressive, no issue with that. Let's move it over to a treated 4x4. Now this is on speed 2, the higher setting, so you are going faster but not as much torque as what you would on the lower setting, and it's still going through like nothing. Now, if you've actually seen that thing slow down and stop, and I'll show you why here in a bit, I'm actually going through melt, and I didn't even know it. And we are in the low setting right now. I still can't believe how much moisture is in that freaking treated 4x4. But it's going through, no issues. Moist. Do you hate that word as much as I do? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. And because I beat the crap out of this treated 4x4 for a very long time, you can actually see there's nails that we went through with that paddle bit. So that's pretty impressive. And let's just keep going with it. Now, let me say this. It is a very hot and humid day and we've been going with the paddle bits up on top by the motor in the vent area it does get a little bit warm if you got your hand up there i'm just letting you know but it cools down pretty quickly you know if you got your hand up there you're going to feel it but all in all we're really just beating the crap out of this you would not use a drill probably to use paddle bits as much as we are on the channel like we're doing now through a treated four by four you could use a whole hog or something else like that all right let's use a half inch drill bit going all the way down through no issues at all super quick actually no loss of power that i can feel All right, super happy with that, super quick. It is a little bit warm up on top, but nothing like it was when we were using the paddle bits. But again, you probably wouldn't use this continuously to use paddle bits anyway, so that's not a big deal to me. I am, however, wondering if the high heat and the very high humidity is playing a role in this. The humidity around here is actually very moist. 
And just so you know, if we don't get a hundred likes on this video, I'm going to continue to use the word moist. So don't forget to smash that like button because I hate that word. All right, so let's continue. We'll just drill a bunch more and see how it does. Still has a little bit of heat coming out, so uh, I'm just letting you know. All right, let's kick it up even more. We're gonna keep on going. I wanna see if the heat escalates or if it just stays pretty much the same. Tell you what, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's powerful. It's a powerful, powerful little drill, really. And no more issues, really, with the heat. I mean, it's still the same. It does get hot, but if you're not keeping your hand up by that vent, which you shouldn't anyway, you're not even gonna notice it. All right, let's finish out the paddle bit strong, and then we'll move on to the impact. So I was mainly letting the drill do the work, but I was pushing down a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with the performance of this drill. Now, for you mechanics out there, people working in the automotive field, maybe body work, what about metal? When you go through the metal, yeah, you're not gonna have an issue, I'll show you. One nice thing about this is that it is not like the wood, it is not moist. So that is an eighth inch bit, and it's going through an eighth inch angle iron right here. On the high speed, went through like nothing. Right now we are on the low speed. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it does the job and it goes through. And obviously that motor is nowhere near as warm as it was because the application that we're using it for is nowhere near as demanding as it was with the paddle bit. Which mentioned before, this is what you're going to be using the drill for basically anyway. Now, we're gonna do one more hole here, but I will also tell you if you're wondering about, sometimes they have a smell to these. There's no smell at all. I'm not getting anything from the Atomics. They're actually not as loud as the fuller size drill from what I can tell. And I gotta be honest with you, they're, they're comfortable. They get through wood real easy. You can see that they're going down through the treated four by four, no problem, which that makes me happy. All right, now let's move it on to the impact bit. I think we did what we could with the drill. It performed very well, I'm happy with it. Now let's start out with some screws, just like we did on the drill. We're gonna go fast. This is blazing, very quick, going through regular pine. The one thing that I noticed right off the bat when I took this out of the package was it only had, well, one speed. But that's really not true because that variable speed trigger works very, very well on this impact gun. Now you see how fast that was. Let's do it on the slow speed and I'll show you how slow you can actually go with it. So basically with that variable speed trigger, you can go to an almost stall or just a crawl really to a full blown, I'm gonna drive this thing like a crazy mofo. And what I've noticed is it works basically the same whether the wood is dry or moist. So you can go as fast as you want or you can drive those flush. There is a lot of control on that trigger. And that was what I was impressed about. And that is why I was okay with it only having the one speed, even though I did not like that at first. I still wish they would have had two speeds, but I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't really matter just because of how well this works. Now, I will also tell you that during the night, when I was operating this, I set off the lights. The LEDs are just like every other DeWalt drill. They got the softer yellow LED lights and they're pretty bright. They're not very harsh. I like that and it allows you to illuminate the area that you're working on. But again, check that out. All right, screws are screws. And yes, you are going to use your impact for screws very often. So we wanted to show that. But what about the half inch legs with no pilot holes? Let's check that out. I truly believe this is a, a great test. Even though you're doing lug nuts and everything on the truck or the cars, you know, driving these through a very moist treated four x four is just as hard, if not harder. Now, 
Now we'll drive that one down a little bit further, but let's try the second. And we're on high here. No issues at all with that. And even though it has the one speed, again, that variable speed trigger, if you are bottoming out or if you just want to take those out a little bit slower, you can do that. And just to show you the control again, check it out. So we went from very low to very high simply just by pulling that trigger and again it works very very well. So at the end of the day all the driving factor literally is the lag screws for me when it comes to the impact. Can it go down through a treated 4x4 with no issues and that did it no issue. Now let's talk about the pluses and maybe a couple of the negative. The negative is right off the bat, I wish they were a little bit smaller. They are 20 volt, which I really like. They are powerful, which I really like, but they're not that much smaller than your typical DeWalt power tool full size. They also don't come with all the bells and whistles. It doesn't have the impact drill on the drill. It doesn't have different speed adjustments on the impact. They are lighter, but not by much. A half pound, will that make a difference? Yeah, if you're using it all day long, especially up over your head if you're a mechanic underneath the car and you're struggling, yeah, that will play a factor in the ergonomics. But what plays a huge difference, even though you're getting almost as much power as the full size, you are getting two 1.3 batteries, you're getting the impact gun and the drill, along with a soft case for only 179. Not to mention you get the battery charger and two belt clips. So what I would say is if you were going into the trades or into trades and don't really want to drop a ton of money and you're not worried about going through masonry, concrete, anything like that, then this is a great deal for what you're getting. And even though you don't get all of the bells and whistles, you're definitely competing when it comes to power with the full size tools, especially for that price. But I'm curious to know what you think, so leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. And remember, if we don't get 100 likes on this video, I will use the word MOIST in every single video after this until we do hit 100 likes. Don't forget to subscribe for more tool reviews coming soon. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page, at Tool Review Zone, and we'll be back with more videos soon.